Hey, Nerf Nation. What I've got in front of me is the reskin, courtesy of Nerf, the reskin of the Nerf Vortex Vigilon, now branded VTX. And behind that, we've got the bigger relative, the Pyragon. So, what we're going to do is, I'm just going to open these up. Now, what you'll notice is, it comes with five discs, or excuse me, it comes with ten discs, but you can load five. There's a trick that you can get six. I'll show that. But there you go there. And I'll be right back after I cut the ammo up. So, for anyone who wasn't around for the first wave uh, when Vortex first came out, the discs feel pretty much the same. Foam on the outside, you have a thin plastic shell, or thin plastic uh, inner part. What you can do is, you load, for anyone who didn't see that, you have the release button, both the left and the right, but for the lefties, maybe this is a problem to have the loading hatch on only one side. So, you can throw in five discs. There. Load one. You can open it again. Get your sixth. There you go. Now, what you'll see is you've got the tack rail on top, you've got the Vigilant. People didn't seem to like the colors uh, when the new skins were announced. You have your pullback handle here. There's your jam door or your jam release for when uh, something may go wrong. And that's it. So, uh, can't get to, I'm gonna have to test this out against my other older. Vortex Blasters, and I'll do that in another video, but for now, uh, just drink it in. Alright, next up, we've got the power gun. So here we've got the Nerf Vortex Pyragon. This one was unique in that it had slam fire, and then it also had the drum here. Unlike the Ravonics where the drum was integrated, this one, if you had multiple drums for some reason, like you had multiple pyragons, you found one thrifting, you were lucky, um, you would be able to carry multiple drums. And some people did. I myself have about, I think, three or four that I would use, that I used to put in my nitrons. But that's just me. Let's see, so we're, we'll just finish opening this up. There's the instructions. Yeah, well, we're going to go over that. So, just like the rest of the new uh, re-release of the Vortex line, this is going to be a Target exclusive. It comes with 40 discs for the drum. There you go. And I'm just going to finish getting it out, and we'll take a little bit of look at it. So there we are, the Pyragon. Again, you have the jam release here. This is your magwell, tack rail, attachment point for the stock. There's your pump handle that you can also use to trigger the slam fire. The other side. No. Anyway, I'll just load a few discs for demonstrative purposes. So this one was a little bit interesting, in that you would load a number of different chambers, right? So you go loading, once you hit full capacity in one cylinder, you will then flip the switch to load the rest. So once again... Well, you flick the switch. That's it. So 
So that's how you load it. So once your drum's loaded, and you have to make sure you get all 40 discs before you can advance to the next chamber. So the instructions say. You slam that on, wait till it clicks, and you're ready to go. And you're all good. Again, I'm going to test this out against my old school Pyragon just to make sure that um, if there's any real difference. And I know a few people are wondering about the price increase from when the first release came out versus the new uh, releases at Target. And let me see, let me just pull that up again. So the Pyragon uh, is going to retail for $59.99 at a Target, and then the Vigilon is going to retail for $24.99. The prices of the Nerf Blasters basically went up about $10. Uh, the Pyragon, I forget what the price was on that, feel free to tell me in the comments, whatever. $15.99 was for the Vigilon, uh, back when it was first released. This time around, $25.99. The Praxis was $24.99, it has now gone up to $34.99. And, hey look, it's my old site. Eh, it's my current site, but... Let's see. Back then, Intrus 10, movable, compatible with Vortex, Mission Kit accessories. I believe this one only came with one. Features A10 rain pump action. Yeah, well, the original re release of the Praxis uh, came with only one disc mag, whereas you get two, and is it worth an extra $10? Eh, that's up to you, the player. So, anyway, there you go. One, a couple, well, a couple let's, let me look at a couple of design things. What I liked about the old Pyragon was... The handle was a different color. This one is kind of schematically speaking, aesthetically speaking, however you want to say it. The it, it blends too much for me visually. I, I enjoyed having a different color on the pump handle. And as far as the color themselves, I'm kind of uh, I'm neutral about the new color scheme. It doesn't matter much to me. Some people really don't like it, and you know, that's that's their decision. That's their taste. But is it enough for me to get up in arms, grab a pitchfork, and torch for? No. But anyway, if you missed out on the original release, you've got this, uh, you got the, you've got another chance at it. If you need more Pyragon drums, they're available now for about $10 more than they were back in 2011. And let's remember that. The original line was released in 2011. It is now seven years later. These things are going to go up in price. Why? Because that's just the nature of inflation. If you have an economics lesson to give me, please don't put it in the comments. Anyway, that's enough for this for now. I'll have uh, some further test firing videos, and uh, see you later. Alright, bye.